Hi, I'm Daniel. Uh, this is my wife, Amber. We've come in to Timberlake for just about a year now. I was born in San Jose, California, and I grew up with a single mom, and faith had always been a part of my own life um, as a way of kind of refuge for me from what I dealt with in life. I was born in Germany to, in a military family, so we moved around a lot. When my parents were still married, my we went to Catholic church, and then after they got divorced, I didn't go to church again. So Daniel and I went to high school together in San Jose. He went off to the military, I went off and lived over the West Coast. And then in August of 2011, we reconnected through Facebook uh, shortly after we were married. I was uh, pretty hardcore like agnostic. I didn't understand how to get to believe. So when we first started dating, he was totally open to going to church with me. It wasn't until one night we did get in a discussion about Jesus and I realized like, oh, he's not a Christian. That was my first realization that this is gonna be a little bit of a struggle. I just continued to pray really hard. I had to accept that it wasn't gonna happen in my time. It was gonna happen in God's time and he was gonna do it in a way that spoke to Daniel so that he knew for sure this is it. I got asked to volunteer at an event for Acres of Diamonds and that's when I was introduced to Timberlake. We first watched online for two or three weeks and he really enjoyed Pastor Ben and I was just like, yes, <laughs> like finally, you know, something so, we came in person, our kids loved it, and the first time he decided to come to church by himself with the kids, I knew God was moving. I just had this realization that I was ready to get there for a long time, but then I was just battling myself. Like, I kind of built a front of like, I don't believe in this stuff. I'm very a very prideful, stubborn person, so reconcile that I was just wrong. <laughs> that was difficult to do, and as soon as I really kind of became open to the idea that there is a God, uh, I definitely felt like there was something missing, but I was just in my own way. He would tell me about these things that he'd pray for is like, give me a sign, and God would totally deliver. Yeah, there were a lot of affirmations. It was an organic, progressive thing that just kept going in the same direction, and the closer that I was getting to, to Jesus, the healthier I was feeling, the more you know stable, the more peace I was feeling, and then just one day it just, all, all went at once. And and right then, like, I just, I accepted Jesus. I just, that second I felt like this burden lift off of me and everything just made sense. And it was October 30th, we went home and he continued to watch sermons online, like all day long, like nonstop. And I was like, oh, something's like happening. Like, you know, what's up? And he said, the next time they do baptisms at Timberlake, I would like to be baptized. And I really couldn't quite believe it. Like when you pray for something so hard for so long, it's been over a decade now, it finally came to fruition. Immediately I saw like a change in him. Like he, his patience grew, um, his demeanor softened, like happier, joyful, like it's, it's just wild. I didn't realize that I was missing out on joy, missing peace, and now that I have it because of Jesus, I just feel like I'm not really just getting through days, I'm experiencing them and, and enjoying them and all the blessings that, you know, come along with it. 